Apple Pencil is the industry-leading tablet pen, and everyone loves the advanced functionality that it offers on the iPad. Yes, on the iPad only. If you touch the iPhone screen with the tip of your Apple Pencil, the iPhone literally does nothing. It doesn't even respond to it. Does Apple do this to make you purchase an iPad? No, but really, why doesn't Apple allow us to use the Apple Pencil on the iPhone? There are many problems with this whole concept, one of which is the beliefs of Apple as a company. Because on the 9th of January 2007, when Apple introduced the very first iPhone, one of the points was that a stylus on a phone is a dumb idea. In the words of Steve Jobs, a stylus is bleh. He made fun of them. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them? Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. Who wants a stylus was the ultimate phrase that set the debate. Then, ironically, a couple of years later, Apple introduces the Apple Pencil. It may seem contradictory, but back in 2007, there was no iPad. The iPhone had a 3.5-inch screen, so yeah, I agree, who wants a stylus on a 3.5-inch first-generation iPhone? Nobody, really. But iPhones got larger, significantly. Yes, but still, it's a small screen even on the Plus or Max models. Samsung is one of the last few companies that believe in a stylus and try to make it work, at least as part of some of their smartphones. Yet their stylus is much smaller than the Apple Pencil. It can fit inside the Samsung Galaxy Note, so at the very least, it's always with you and you have a place to put it. The Apple Pencil is a big pen that you'd have to carry around. It's a full-size accessory. It's packed with all the tech like the gyroscopes, the chip and other stuff and it cannot simply be shrunk down without compromising some of the functionality. Charging the pencil would be hard or even impossible when using the second generation of the pencil. Interestingly enough, the first gen can actually be charged using an iPhone, but I don't know. It looked weird when the first gen Apple Pencil was sticking out of the iPad while charging, and on the iPhone, it's probably a bit weirder. So yeah, it would be really impractical in the real world. But why not allow it if people really want it? There are comments from people, even on the official Apple support page, asking why it doesn't work. Someone may actually be in shock that iPhone doesn't support it, thinking that it's automatic, like it's definitely going to work, right? But the question is, do we really want it? Like some random people may say that it would be nice to have, but do iPhone users actually need it? I personally don't think so. There's probably no demand for it. iDevice Help, a popular YouTuber that focuses on Apple and iPhones, made a video once about a way to use the Apple Pencil on the iPhone. And while the video received a lot of attention, 1.4 million views, and the hack technically works, you have to use a wet napkin for the iPhone screen to recognize the pencil. And it's more of a fun topic than an actual life hack that people could really use. Even if Apple allowed us to use the pencil with the iPhone, what would you do with it? Because people buy the Apple Pencil for the iPad to use it in all those advanced apps like Procreate, Affinity Designer, or general photo editing or drawing. None of which would really be useful on a small screen of the iPhone. It would just be difficult to work there. So Apple Pencil, as a secondary product, an accessory to work with a particular software makes sense, while buying the pencil to do regular stuff like browsing the web does really not. Stylus or pen is an artistic accessory, not something you need every single day. With great features like 9 milliseconds latency, it definitely helps with iPad sales. Some people buy it solely for this reason, but I don't think that the pencil support would persuade anyone to buy an iPhone. Okay, but all of this aside, the actual technology still wouldn't allow it. I already mentioned that the Apple Pencil cannot get any smaller because there wouldn't be enough space to put all the internals. But also, the pencil is actually not a capacitor pen, meaning that it doesn't behave like a finger. 
When you touch the screen with the tip, it launches electromagnetic waves and the whole way how the iPad receives input from the pencil is different than your iPhone does from your finger. Apple would need to add a new hardware to the iPhone, a different digitizer to make it function, and all this for a fraction of people that would have an interest in using it. Also, 3D Touch and the support for Apple Pencil cannot coexist. That's why no iPad ever supported that feature. And when Apple dropped the 3D Touch from the list of the iPhone's features, we speculated that they may actually start supporting the Pencil even on iPhones. It caused so many rumors. But Apple devices are known to be popular even before they get released, so it's really nothing new that there were rumors. But there were many rumors. Tech Radar made a bunch of articles about the Pencil potentially being supported by iOS. New patents emerged, hidden things in the software code that all suggested that Apple plans on adding support, but it never really turned out to be a reality. So right now we're stuck with another rumor that the next folding iPhone will support it. So yeah, we all pretty much know how this rumor will likely turn out to be. Although I don't believe that Apple will ever allow the iPhone to be operated with the Apple Pencil, if consumer behavior significantly changes in the future, then why not? Some logical improvements from my point of view would be to enhance the functionality of the Magic Trackpad and make it support the Pencil. It would make the Pencil useful for people using a Mac computer. I think everyone would appreciate it. For now, what you can do is to buy a stylus for the iPhone. Third-party manufacturers have already created many options for you. You can buy a pen that does actually work with the iPhone screen because it emulates your finger, but it doesn't allow any other functionality besides just being able to touch the screen with something else other than your finger. It's not even recognized as a stylus or a pencil. So yes, that's the current situation with the Apple Pencil and the reason why you cannot use it with your iPhone. Thanks a lot for watching till the end and don't forget to stick around for the next upload.